everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the Ohio Bobcats and the Miami Redhawks. You're ready for a rivalry matchup? Well, as always, when these two teams get together, they just don't play to win. They play to destroy each other. Here come the Redhawks. The Bobcats believe that they're the better team. Who are you taking in this one, Herbie? Miami has a game-breaking player on defense, and he only gets better with every game. Tackles can't block him, and quarterbacks fear him. That alone will be a big factor in why I think they will win this game today, Coach. Yo, there's only one winning team today. Miami University in this one. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Kicks it away. Number one fields it at the 24. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Today we got a very good tailback going up against a pretty weak linebacking core. Do you think the offense will be able to exploit that? You betcha they will. This running back is as good as they come, and I think they'll give this kid the ball, and he'll make a statement early today. I'm with you on that one, Scooter. This team does everything possible to get this kid the ball. If he has trouble running the ball, then they'll line him up in the slot and throw it to him. He creates mismatches all over the field, and I don't think this defense is good enough to keep him quiet today. They come out with three wide receivers. He's looking to pass. Let's it fly, and he's got him on the run. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49. They line up in the shotgun. Right. They hand it off again. He jukes him. Tackle made at the 41. Number 10. Gains around eight yards on the run. That'll bring up second down. From the 41-yard line, second down. The Redhawks come out in a shotgun. Here's the option. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. And the defense picks it up. And a costly fumble right there, guys. I love the option, but it is a little risky. This fumble is a perfect example. But Kirk, you can't forget, the option can be unstoppable when run properly. They were just a little unlucky there. They'll get the ball here at the 34. He looks to throw on first down. Short toss. It's tipped. Number 80 was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. From their own 34-yard line. So it's second and 10. One man backfield. He drops back. He gets sacked on the play. There's an injured player, and we'll try to find out who it is. Oof, this would be a huge loss for this team. Let's hope this guy can get back into the game. From their own 32-yard line, third down. Bring in their dime package. Looking to throw. He's drilled as he throws. 
Good job there by the defense to get a hand on him. It was, Kurt, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. The Bobcats line up the punt. Number one is the deep man awaiting the return. Punts the ball away. Number one, back deep to return. Number one fields it at the 30. I don't think we'll see this offense get into a similar situation this time. So you think they'll convert on fourth down if they go for it again? Hey, why not? If you're having to go for it on fourth down a lot, you're not doing so hot, sweetheart. They'll start at the 42. The Red Hawks set up in the gun. They hand it off, and he hits him hard at the 39-yard line. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's called making a statement. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 39. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. Inside you. They'll knock him down for a loss. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. From the gun. Drops back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. He's sacked. At the 29. Big sack by the senior corner. He obviously didn't see that one coming. That's a situation where you got to check off to the hot loop. The Red Hawks are lining up the punt and away. Number four awaits the snap. Gets it away. Number 23 fields it at the 30. Number 23 looks to be a little slow getting up. The offense will take over at the 33. Number 21 lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Drops back on first down. He passes it. Incomplete pass. Number seven was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33 yard line. Ohio goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. He'll dump this one off. And it's caught. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. That's a nice six-yard gain. They line up at the 39. It's third down. Ohio will line up in a jumbo set here. He'll take it himself, and he tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. Here comes the punter, looking to boot this one away. Number 43 is waiting for the snap. He gets it off. And there's a fumble. It's scooped up. And so they'll turn the ball over on the fumble. Yeah, the ball carrier just didn't do a good job of protecting the ball. This defense took advantage of it. They're in the red zone. They'll work from the shotgun. Uh, 
They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the left. They can't connect. Incomplete. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty. Still Beep. first down. Beep. Beep. Uh, Scooter, what are you doing? Kirk, my friend, that's the sound of the offense going in reverse. First and long. Ball on the 26-yard line. First down, look at the throw. He's looking. Under heavy pressure. They'll sack him at the 29. They line up at the 29. It's second down. This defense is in the dive. He drops back. Green pass, complete. Steps out of bounds at the nine. Decent yardage on the screen play. The quarterback there sets this thing up perfectly. He allowed the play to develop, which is exactly what you have to do to make this play work. Lee, you're right, and if they can continue to mix up their play calling, they'll keep this defense on their heels all day. We've got third and three here. Ball on the nine-yard line. Number 21, alone in the backfield. There's a play fake. He's rolling right. Throws. This one is incomplete. This isn't much more than an extra point. Ohio is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Lines up for the kickoff. Number one, back deep to return. And this one's away. Number one takes it at the 21. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Clipping on the receiving team. 15 yards. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Number 12 is back in the gun. Gives it off. And he's stopped behind the line. One-yard loss for the halfback. One-yard loss on the play. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 19. 19-yard line. Miami of Ohio lines up in a shotgun set. Here's the option. Lateral's back. He's out of bounds at the 40. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. They line up at the 39. First down. The Hawks come out in the ace formation. Looks. Loose football. 
And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. Good hustle there by the D lineman. He saw the ball pop out and just went after it. Nice hustle. It sure was. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy who has a motor that's running. He never quit, and he played to the whistle. Ohio comes to the line with three wide. Gives it off. And they got him for a loss. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle up front. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Bobcats set up in the gun. Look at the throw. He steps up. He fires right. Finds his receiver. And he's tackled at the 18. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. Ohio lines up in the shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. He looks. He's going right. Touchdown, OU. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for him, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdowns. They'll line up for the point after. And he adds the extra point. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Ohio 10, Miami nothing. Ohio, ready to kick this one off. Number one and number two, deep to return. Here's the kick, number two, fields it at the 19. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Will we see a similar result this time? First and 10, ball on the 36. First and 10. The Hawks come out showing three wide. He's sacked at the 30-yard line. Makes the sack. Loss of six on the play. Second and long. Ball on the 30-yard line. Miami of Ohio lines up with three receivers. It's complete. They'll bring him down at the 37. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Third down, nine to go. Ball on their own 37. The Hawks line up with four wideouts. Look out, into coverage, and the defense has it. And he is drilled at the 48. And they come up with a big play there, don't they, guys? Oh, man. Defense looks very well coached on that play. That's what happens when 11 ball hawking defenders go full speed. Start this drive at midfield. At the 48 yard line. First and 10. Number three lines up in the shotgun. Looking. He's hit and got away. Steps up. He throws. 
and it's incomplete. He should have had that one, guys. Well, that's a lack of concentration, don't you think, Coach? Oh, you bet it is, and he'll be reminded of that on the sideline for sure. Second down. Ball on the 48-yard line. They're in the eye. Here's the give. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. They line up at the 48. Third down. The defense lines up in a dime. Drops back to pass. Got it to his receiver. And he's tackled at the 37-yard line. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. First, First down. Ball on the 37-yard line. Number 21 is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Looking down the middle. Another catch. Touchdown, Ohio! They made a great connection there for the touchdown, didn't they, fellas? Boy, the quarterback threw a strike to the wide receiver. He caught it and took it all away. Boy, what a dangerous combination. You can't say enough about how good that throw was. The quarterback put that one right on the money. Here's the try for the extra point. And he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Ohio 17, Miami nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Short kickoff. Number two takes it to 15. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. First and ten. Miami of Ohio comes out of the shotgun. First and ten. He looks to throw on first down. Comes across the middle. That's incomplete. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it. But the defender stepped up and made the play. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 31. Number 10, the lone back. He's looking to pass. Throws to the middle. And it falls incomplete. He just led his receiver a little bit too far. They line up at the 31. Third down. The defense lines up with six DBs. He drops back. Number 12 throws it out there. Brought down at the 46. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Red Hawks with four receivers. He looks. He lets it go. Complete. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. 
Miami of Ohio takes a timeout, and that was their first timeout. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 40. Miami of Ohio comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Here they come. Sack for a loss at the 48-yard line. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Miami of Ohio lines up with three receivers. Rolls right. He airs it out. Number two brings it in. Touchdown. They made that touchdown look really, really easy, Coach. And that's what you get when you practice hard all week long. Practice makes perfect, my friend. And that was as close to perfect as you will get. Here's the Pontiac game-changing performance from today's game. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. And he adds the extra points. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Ohio 17, Miami 7. Number 19, ready to kick. He kicks it. Number 9, takes it at the 14. There's a missed tackle. A little juke. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. The offense will start at the 41-yard line. Ohio comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Drops back on first down. He's under pressure. Sack for a loss at the 34-yard line. Ohio calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Ohio lines up for the shotgun set. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. He snags it. Tackle at the 40. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Ohio will have one timeout remaining. They line up at the 40. Third and 11. Ohio comes to the line with three wide. Surveys the field. He's under some heat. Miami of Ohio will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Ohio, ready to put this one away. Number one is back deep to return. Punts the ball away. Number one takes it to 28. The 50, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. They return it all the way for the touchdown. And that puts them right back into this ball game. This kid just took it upon himself to make a big play. 
He just broke through the containment, and next thing you know, whoop, he's got a touchdown. Yeah, coach, and six points later, we have ourselves a tight ball game again. And he hits the PAT. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Ohio, 17, Miami, 14. like they're ready for the kick. Miami, Ohio is lined up for the kick. And it's off. Number seven, fields it at the nine. <laughs> From their own 24-yard line. First down. Number three has trips to the right. Hand off up the middle. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. We've still got a half of football remaining, but our score at halftime is Ohio 17, Miami 14. Miami of Ohio got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number nine takes it at the 12. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 25. Ohio lines up in a shotgun set. Hands it off. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad. It's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Number three lines up in the shotgun. to pass. Throws it out there, and it's caught. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Third and four. Ball on the 31. Ohio goes with the ace set here. Stepping up, throws this one out to the left. Tackle made at the 38. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. First down, 10 yards to go. The Bobcats line up with a single setback crew. They're going to pitch it. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. Number 21 gains around three yards on the run. So that'll make it second down. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. Ohio comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Fakes to the back. He's looking. He's looking deep down the left side. Number 80 was the intended target, so that'll make it third down. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. 
The Bobcats come out in the ace formation. On play action, looks, lets it fly. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number 11 was the intended receiver on the play. And that'll make it fourth down. The Bobcats are lining up to punt it away. Number one, the return man. Number 43, punts it away. And this is just a beauty. Great kick. And he gets peppered. He couldn't make anything happen on that punt return. Yeah, well, there wasn't much he could do in a situation like that. There were just too many tacklers around him. There's a very impressive open field tackle. About three yards there on the halfback toss. It's second and seven. Ball on the 22 yard line. Number 10 is the single setback. Drops back to pass. He's under pressure. They brought him down for the sack at the 15-yard line. It's third down. The Bobcats line up with six defensive backs. Back to pass. He steps up. He looks. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. That was the sixth sack of the ball game for this defense. Let me say one thing. This defense is good. I mean, real good. They sure are, Coach. They're blitzing. They're stunning. They're confusing this quarterback to death. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 24 is back deep to return the punt. He gets it away. Number 24 takes it at the 45. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. You know, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll start at the 39. Number 21 lines up as a single back. He looks to throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket. Incomplete pass. Number 21 was the intended target on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second, Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ohio comes to the line with three wide. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Line up at the 41. Third down. Nickel defense. And as he throws. That's a fantastic defensive effort. Yeah, the deflection prevented them from getting any yards. And now it's fourth down. They line up to put this one away. Number 43 is waiting for the snap. He punts it. Number six. Number 22 signals for a fair catch. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. Right. 
They'll set up shop at the 20-yard line. Number 12 is back in the gun. The running back has it. Brought down at the 21-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. It's second down and nine to go. Ball, Ball on the 21-yard line. Yeah. The Hawks are lining up with three receivers. Hut. It's a direct snap. Missed tackle. Number 10 loses it. Number 47 with a recovery. Number 35. He appears to have been injured on the play. This drive will start at the 20. Number 21 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He drops back. He steps up. He passes it. Run. And he's stopped behind the line. That'll be a loss of one. One yard loss on the play. They line up at the 21. Second down. Ohio comes out with an eye formation. And he's hit as he throws. And it's caught. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That'll be a two-yard loss. It's third down. the gun looking steps up throws down the middle finds his receiver and he's tackled at the 10. what happened there guys well they were in man-to-man -man coverage on that play and i couldn't tell if the defender slipped or if he just got beat on that play no he just got beat it was a good catch for the first down Ohio, first and goal, about to go up by two scores. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Looks, throws. Did he catch it? Yes. He's taken down at the eight-yard line. Kirk, what do you have for us? Well, that catch put the receiver over 100 yards. He's been one of the quarterback's favorite targets all game long. They're at the eight. Second down and goal. The Bobcat come out in the shotgun. He looks. He throws it. Tackle at the two-yard line. There's a player injured down on the field. I can't see who it is. It looked like he took a pretty good shot on that play. I think he'll be up and running again in no time. It's third and goal from the two, and they're trying to make this a two-possession ball game. They've got all the big boys in for this one. The Bobcats line up in a goal line formation. Fires! Touchdown, Ohio! I hate to downplay this quarterback, but that defense has got to defend the pass better, Kurt. Well, Coach, the quarterback's throwing very well today, but you're right. Third touchdown pass given up today. They've got to step up and make more plays. They'll line up for the extra point here. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Ohio 24, Miami 14.
Ohio gets set to kick this one away. Short kickoff. Number two fields it at the 19. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? Well, time isn't on their side anymore. They need to get this ball down the field and get in the end zone. You're right, Coach. It's now a two-possession game. There's not too much time to spare. From the gun. First and ten. Look. And they get the sack. There's an injured player, and we'll try to find out who it is. I didn't see what happened on the play, but you can only hope that this guy is able to shake it off and get back into the game. Second, and 15. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. What? Miami of Ohio comes out in the shotgun. Looks to pass. Looking. Throw short. The ball is tipped. Into coverage, and the defense has it. And that was their second interception of the game. Here's our Pontiac game-changing performance. Well, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. Unsportsmanlike conduct. 15 yard penalty, first down. Excellent field position to start the drive. First and 10. He's looking to pass, throws it, and it's incomplete. He might have been looking to run and didn't secure the ball. Well, sometimes you see young players do this. This is something they have to work very hard to be able to overcome. From the 42-yard line, second down. Ohio sets up in the eye. Here's the give. That counter didn't fool anybody that time. They shut that run down in a hurry. Great play by the defense. They line up at the 42. Third down. Number 21 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Look at the throw. Stepping up, surveys the field. Scooped up by the offense. He's gobbled up in the backfield. They've got to be happy after recovering that fumble. Yeah, because a play like that gets the defense right back into the game. You'll probably see him get real conservative now. You're absolutely right, Kirk. Watch him run some basic plays here. Nothing fancy. Number 22 is back awaiting the punt. Gets it away. Number 22 calls for the fair catch. The offense heads out onto the field. In their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. They'll go to work at the 10-yard line. Miami of Ohio comes to the line with three wide. It falls incomplete. Calm down, sweetheart. Quit thinking so much and just throw the football. I don't know if he's thinking too much. He just let that pass get away from him. No, no. I can tell when a quarterback is thinking too much. Just take the snap, drop back, and fire it. You're all right if you do that. I promise you. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pads. He throws it. It's complete. And he hits him hard at the 11-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Third and nine. Ball on the 11. Miami of Ohio 
Sets up with four receivers. He lets it fly. And this one falls incomplete. Good job of holding them by the defense, and now the offense will have to punt. So they're going to go for it here. They line up in the shotgun. Here we go. Looks under heavy pressure. And they sack him on fourth down. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. They're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. There's a flag down, and here's the call. And sports will like conduct. 15 yard penalty, first down. First and 10. They're threatening inside the 20. Ohio comes out in the shotgun. Here's the halfback. And he's taken down at the 13 yard line. Miami of Ohio will take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. And since we're inside the 20, where experience matters most, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. Ohio will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll try to pound it with a fullback. Tackle made at the 11-yard line. Miami of Ohio will call a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. From the 11-yard line. We get third and three here. The Hawks bring in their dime package. Toss right side. Can he get the first? They'll bring him down at the nine. He'll be stopped just short of a first down. Ah, oh, so close yet so far away. I thought he had it. They're going to go for the easy three here. The field goal attempt will be about a 26-yarder. Yeah. It's up. And the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it's a short kickoff. Number two fields it at the 17. Guys, what do you think about this situation? At this point, I think this game looks like it's out of reach, Coach. Nah, not so fast, Kirk. It's only a two-possession game, and these guys won't give up. A quick score, an onside kick, and another quick score, and we're talking about a completely different situation. Number 13 lines up in the shotgun. Number 13 lets it go. Caught. And he shoved out of bounds at the 43. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. They line up at the 43. Second down, four yards to go. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looking, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Number 13 comes to the line with three wide. Going for the home run. Got a man. He got it to the 10. Touchdown, Miami. Guys, this one isn't over yet. Not by a long shot, my friend. 
They just put the ball in the end zone there. If they can somehow get the ball back, they need to do it one more time. Well, there isn't a lot of time left here, Coach, but that touchdown definitely makes this a whole new ball game. They line up for the extra point. And he adds the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Ohio 27, Miami 21. Miami of Ohio lines up for an onside kick. Here's the onside. They recover the onside and they're back in business. And that's exactly how you want to kick an onside. Great job by the kicker, but even a better job by his teammates to get all over that football. First down. Number 13 with three wide receivers. Surveys the field. He delivers. And that one's incomplete. He almost had him there, Coach. Yeah, well, guess what? It doesn't count if you almost threw a good pass. Almost doesn't count. Sounds like a head coach talking. Yeah. They line up at the 36. Second down, 10 yards to go. The Hawks come out in the shotgun, steps up, looks, lets it go, finds his receiver, and he just got drilled. That's the first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. And this quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. He looks to throw on first down, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. They line up in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Under heavy pressure. And they got it. Miami of Ohio will take a timeout. And now they got no timeouts left. From their own 36-yard line. Third down. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. Got it. And he's taken down. So the battle between these two rivals comes to a close. Guys, your final thoughts. I'm going to tell you guys something. It doesn't matter what the record is. It doesn't matter who beats who the past few years. The only thing that matters is who focuses on a game and gets it done. And our winner did just that. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.